Hi, I'm Steve from Ellis Brigham, and this is Mark. And we're here today to talk to you about the Nordica Enforcer 94. So this is the runner up in our men's free ride category. Um, and what we're gonna do now is just pass you over to Mark from Nordica to run you through some of the tech spec. Hi, I'm Mark from Nordica. This is the brand new Enforcer 94 for 2020-21 season. This ski is a development from the 93 that we've had in the past, but the big difference is here and who it's for. So you've got a ski that's designed to pretty much go anywhere across the mountain, whether it's on piece, choppy snow, or even deeper snow, for an advanced to expert um, free ride skier, realistically. The big changes from what we've had before and the new kind of parts in the ski. So you've got a much longer core and in the tip and in the tail with a lot less of the plastic ABS that you would have before. The big things there is that that reduces the swing weight at either end of the ski, making it a lot easier to ski on. Um, and then also a really specific thing is that each individual size has got its own rocker camber ratio so that in theory, no matter if you're one of the smaller skis or on the longer skis, you get a similar feeling across the whole range. Um, one useful thing to have a look at, if you're ever in the shop and you're having a look, this little piece here will show you exactly where the rocker starts on the ski and where it meets the edge with the red area there is the widest point as well, which is useful to see so you can kind of figure out exactly where all of the magic's happening with the rocker. Um, one of the biggest things about this is that it's just usable for a wide range of customers, but mostly towards that advanced uh, neck of the woods. And a lot of testers here find it something useful they can sell to a lot of, a lot of people. So we got to ski this in Glen Shield uh, at the end of last season. We were really lucky with conditions. We got fresh snow, we got good visibility. Um, we were skiing it in everything basically because as the fresh snow softened up, it was all the junk and all the tracked out stuff and then we skied it on some firm pieces. So proper test for this kind of ski. Mark, what did you think? So I've always been um, a big fan of the Enforcer range. Uh, and on this one, you can feel the, the subtle updates to it. Um, but one of the things that really stands out for me uh, particularly in this model, is how versatile it is. Um, but I think it really shines in variable conditions. It's super stable and it really just helps to iron out any of the rough terrain you do come across. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, for me, this is a, this is a go-to ski. I've got quite a few, but this is one of them. Um, I love the long nose on it. Very, very stable when you ski it through like tracked out snow, horrible, tricky snow. Very stable, but I think, yeah, the updates, the carbon chassis, um, you definitely feel that when you're skiing it on firmer snow, it's got a little bit more life to it as well. So I think for a European skier, this is a great option because we're not skiing bottomless powder very often. In fact, we're lucky if we're skiing fresh snow. So you need to be able to, a ski that'll do everything that's gonna work on piste, but it's gonna feel really stable when you're skiing off piste because you could be in any condition. So yeah, um, a great ski, very worthy winner, some really good updates from Nordica there. Um, if you want to learn a little bit more about it, have a look online. Uh, if you want to speak to someone, pop into one of the stores or, or give us a call and we'll talk you through it. If you skied it or you've got any questions, uh, please leave your comments below.